Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Adventures of Kramer. So today what I want to be able to show you is an awesome new email I just saw from Starlink showing some promising new things coming about and I'm just kind of talk about what I've seen and what I'm kind of thinking what they mean along the same type of way. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is it's just kind of like a major update type of piece, what I'm feeling um, coming from Starlink here. So it's been awesome to be able to, yeah, being the kind of first customer here, being able to help try and get this, at least some of like the earliest customers, being able to help get it on the better than nothing. And they've been able to do a lot of improvements, and I will give them that. It's been awesome to be able to see the progression, and some of this email shows some of those different updates that they've done some more things that they're trying to do and so one of the first things that i'm trying to see here is that they're actually repositioning satellites so it's super cool they're able to use those ion engines and to be able to help start positioning and moving those around because they have to just shy of a thousand out there so if they're repositioning more than 500 i mean that's that's a lot i mean half of what they have over half of what they have they are repositioning moving around and so what I do see that they're saying here, though, it says these maneuvers may introduce short outages in the near term, but the final result is expected to substantially improve user experience in quarter one of 2021. So looking more anywhere from what January, February, March, that first quarter of 2021. So we're going to see more drops that are going to be starting to happen. So I'm wondering if over the past couple of weeks, how we've started to see those like 10, 20, or even 30 minute blocks of time to where there's just no satellite whatsoever. That's actually some of the downtime because they're helping to reposition satellites. And I, I really appreciate them helping to let people know that's what's happening because otherwise I'm like, what's going on? Is there something wrong with my satellite? Is there something going on with like the dish up above, like on the actual roof of my house? Like is the wind picking up? Is there something causing? But now knowing that, hey, this is what's causing it to happen. And like seeing this kind of end goal and to see that light at the end of the tunnel is super awesome to be able to see that. And for them to say substantially, I mean, they're not putting a number to it, but that's gonna be really cool. Um, other different things, the NAT type, which I mean, I did see. There's been one of the previous videos I've had to where we were NAT type three the day before and then post up a video about it. That next day, they switched it up to NAT type two, which was awesome to be able to help see that in that transition which over the past few days though, I have seen a better gaming experience than what I had in the previous weeks before, um, even after they did that transition. So it's been nice to see that. Now the next one that they're talking about, the Xbox Live bug, that was a little bit happening there on packet loss. I'm not sure if I noticed that as much, um, but that's just, I mean, that's awesome that they helped to fix that and trying to help work on it. The latency though, that one's going to be really cool to be able to help see what they're doing here, upgrading the software and helping to get more and more gateways, which is what people have been saying for a long time that, yeah, it's going to constantly set an increase over time. And then as they get more and more of those different satellites, they get more and more of the ground stations, they get more of that laser link starting to get connected up. That's really cool. I do like that they've like helped to listen to like feedback from the community on the snow melt mode. So that's going to be awesome. I'm going to try and see if I can't get into the app here after this and to be able to help see if I can't find that button to help show you it's not I don't have any snow outside but I just want to see what's out there or if it's more like an automatic that it starts to sense it or not but I'll definitely try and check that out here in just a moment um and then it's cool that they're helping to do that expansion getting a lot more people helping to roll that out in quarter of 2021 I know there's been a lot of people wanting to try and hey When's this going to be happening? Like, how can I get this? And the best thing to do is just go to the starlink.com website, sign up for it. And that's the best way you're going to be able to know on what's going to be coming up next. And that's just cool. Um, wishing happy holidays. So that's that's really nice to be able to see this upstate update. So let's go ahead and try checking out the app and see if we see anything new on there. So as just saw in some of those past pictures there, it did update to version 1.0.21, helping to get a couple different updates there. I'm not seeing, um, what is it, the like the snow mode, the snow melt mode, that's not showing up in the app. I'm not, 
I'm not sure though if that'll only show up in like an automatic time whenever like all of a sudden it starts getting blocked over by snow to where then that'll pop up. Um, but otherwise though, checking through like statistics, troubleshooting, support, I'm not seeing any of that button on there yet. So I'm not sure if that's gonna be coming in a future update um, besides the 1.0.21. So that updated just two days ago and today, oh, what is today's date? Today is the, oh man, I, one second here. Oh, it's the 22nd. All right, so Tuesday the 22nd. And so that updated back on Sunday the 20th. So it's nice to be able to see that you, I'm seeing some of those different updates happening. I have seen over the weekend an increase, like it, it, gaming online has been better. So that's been awesome to be able to see that and just kind of excited to see how things keep going. If you liked the video, hit the like button for me, comment down below, questions you might have. Um, otherwise, peace everybody.